And then I want to pray for Brother Eric. I don't know where, whether he's in a place where he should wear a mask. He's wearing a mask. I want to see his face. Yes, I want to see your face. Yes. Hi. Hi, brother. Yes, how Hi, are Pastor. you? Yes. Yes, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for Brother Eric. I pray for Brother Eric. I speak the goodness of Christ in his life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Um, you are part of that generation according to the Spirit of God. That must help people of their generation to access the presence of God. What am I saying? There is a calling upon your life. I don't know who you, who you are, but there is a call of God upon your life. So just know that, that there is a calling of God upon your life. God wants to use you. He wants to use you. Father, I pray for Brother Eric. I say, may you touch him in his heart. May you arrest his heart for your purposes. May you arrest his heart for your purposes. The same way you arrested the heart of Abraham, and you began to use him as a father of many nations. Many people may not know this brother, but I say from now onwards, may you, you begin to use him. The only way which you as God in heaven can touch people and begin to use, use them. May you move in his life. Whatever hindrances he has experienced, hindrances of a financial nature, hindrances of a social nature, I say they are destroyed even in this season. I declare that all limitation is removed from his life. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, for your goodness upon Brother Eric. We thank you, Lord, for your grace upon his life. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. So I don't know what it Amen. is. Yes, what it is that you do for a living. But... Uh, God wants you to share Christ with others. And I don't know which means you are going to use. You can use the internet. You can use whatever means. You can talk to, if you are not a leader in your church, you can talk to those who are in leadership. You pray about it. You ask God about this message that I gave you. And then you confirm the internal witness within your inner man will tell you the things that I'm talking about. Yes. You did not Thank come you. to, yes, you did not come to this life just to make a career. You came to this life to expand the boundaries of the kingdom of God. You came to this life to touch other people for, for the glory of God. And God wants to use you in this season. You want your eyes to be his eyes, your mouth to be his mouth, your hands to be his hands, and your feet and your legs to be his feet and legs. In short, he wants to use you. Yes. So don't, don't worry about the problems that we have been going through. Sometimes God puts us in a tight spot so that he can get our utmost attention when he's articulating the things that are, are strong upon his heart. And the Holy Spirit is telling me to give you Genesis chapter 12. 
where we encounter the call of Abraham. You read that Genesis chapter 12. It will speak to you. It will speak to you. And then we must pray for a certain woman that I'm seeing in a vision. Uh, her name, it starts with A. Because I see angels flying. I'm saying, God, why am I seeing angels flying? And the Holy Spirit is telling me that there is angel or angel that needs to be prayed for. So there is a woman by that name. Just to check around your life cycle. Oh. Yes. OK. Yes. She needs prayer. So God is in control. Yes, whatever prayer requests you may be having, in addition to this thing which I pointed out, you can send them to us. But according to, to the spirit of God, when you agree with God on this matter, and it begins to order your footsteps in executing his will, he's telling me that Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 will be fulfilled in its fullness in your life. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then all these other things will be added unto you. Yes. Matthew 6. Thank you, Pastor. Yes. So it's your season. Not just your season to excel in your career, but your season to excel in your spiritual life together with your loved one. It's a season. When God wants to take you into the deep place of his presence, so that when you come out of the deep place of his presence, he can use you together with your loved one to communicate his presence to a generation which is hurting, a generation without answers, a generation which is looking for hope. God wants you to be a channel of that hope when you are coming from a place of intimacy with him. So that's why now you have been having this void that you feel in your heart. Whenever you pray, you feel like you are reaching into something which you cannot touch. It's God drawing you to the deepest place of his presence. So that uh, from that depth of his presence, he can use you to bring hope to people who are hopeless by means of the spoken word and by means of your presence. So that when you walk into a place, people will perceive God. You will literally be a carrier of God. That's your assignment in this phase or aspect of your life, to, to usher in the presence of God. When you walk into a place, before you even start talking, people must feel God. Whether it's your working pl workplace or among relatives or at a club or wherever you are, People must feel a difference. They must perceive God himself. They may not see him, but the, there is a certain dynamic that they must perceive around you. A certain dynamic. This, this you will find from the prayer closet, from a place of intimacy, says the Spirit of God. Yes. You remember Genesis chapter 12, the call of Abraham, and Matthew chapter yes. 6, verse 33. So, yes, yes, you. yes, we thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Pastor. Yes, you are blessed. We thank you, Lord. Thank you. We thank you, Lord. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray.